the news, what went up may begin to come down. When oil prices shot sky high, there was economic panic in many countries. Now some people are afraid oil prices may come down. We'll be back with oil prices in the news. And now, oil prices in the news. For 10 years, oil prices have been pushed higher and higher and higher by a group of oil producing nations known as OPEC, the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries. Petroleum is another word for oil, and exporting means that these nations sell their oil to other countries. At its recent meeting in Geneva, Switzerland, OPEC wanted to keep oil prices up by pumping less oil but OPEC's members could not agree on details. No, it's a complete failure. Now, oil experts expect oil prices to go down. There is simply more oil available than is needed. In the late 1970s, rising oil prices encouraged people to save energy in general and use less oil in particular. OPEC's high prices also speeded up the development of oil sources outside of OPEC, in Alaska, the North Sea, and Mexico. Now, non-OPEC oil fields outproduce OPEC oil fields. The first benefits from lower oil prices should come in the form of reduced prices for gasoline and heating fuel. Cheaper oil is bad news, though, for countries that depend on oil exports. And it's bad news for bankers who have loaned billions of dollars to countries that had expected to pay the money back out of new riches from high-priced oil. I'm Christopher Glenn with Oil Prices in the News. Thank you.